Adrian, and today we're taking an in-depth look at Spider-Man's fighting style in Marvel's Spider-Man. Marvel's Spider-Man was a critical and commercial success when it debuted on the PS4 in 2018, and it has now been remastered for the PlayStation 5. The game chronicles Spider-Man's adventures as he protects New York City from various threats that arise, all while trying to balance the difficulties in his personal life. If you're a fan of action films and video games, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and watching my other videos, as I've already analyzed other awesome fighters, including Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series, and Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. But today, we will be focusing exclusively on Spider-Man. The goal of these videos is to figure out just how many fighting styles our combatant is familiar with by analyzing the specific moves featured in their footage and pairing them with the martial art or fighting style which most aptly represents those moves. There's a huge amount of crossover in martial arts techniques, and a technique that is present in one fighting style may also be present in another, such as a roundhouse kick being present in multiple martial arts. But in order to not give combatants multiple fighting styles for the sake of variety, I have instead opted to list the most apt fighting style that best represents that particular character, technique, or set of techniques. Also, there are various degrees of knowing a fighting style, and although one may know elements of something, this doesn't mean I'm saying the fighter I'm talking about is a master in every style I mention. I highly recommend playing Marvel's Spider-Man, as this video will analyze footage from said game. That being said, I will keep plot and story details to a minimum, but do take this as your spoiler warning. Fighting styles that Spider-Man may know in any other form of media, such as in comics or novel form, or other Spider-Man games, do not count. For example, in the comics, Spider-Man develops a fighting style known as the Way of the Spider, but since this series is primarily focused on real-world fighting styles, and this style is from the comics and not the game, the fictitious fighting style of Way of the Spider will not be incorporated or count in this analysis. Without further ado, let's take a look at how many fighting styles Spider-Man knows. Spider-Man is perhaps one of the most unique fighters we've ever seen on this series. One moment he's kicking, the next punching, dodging, or using a web gadget, and expertly switching in and out of different styles on the fly at the drop of a hat. So before we get overwhelmed at the sheer variety of different moves on display, let's break his moveset down bit by bit, only to piece it together again at the end to see how it all flows together to create Spider-Man's unique combat. Spider-Man's primary form of locomotion is to use his webs to swing around the city, essentially becoming a giant pendulum. So naturally, Spider-Man's absolute favorite fighting move, bar none, is a drop kick. This technique is frequently seen in pro wrestling. Spider-Man gets a lot of mileage and variety out of the drop kick. From launching webs onto the ground before unleashing the drop kick, to webbing the enemy before executing said technique, to punching, then firing a strand in midair before performing the technique and using his opponent's body to jump off of, or using it on a foe much larger than he is from a lower angle, using it from the ground midair, or also using it in midair after launching his enemies up with another attack. He even has variations of it where he uses it as more of a pushing technique than a striking one. In conclusion, Spider-Man takes the drop kick and combines it with his agility, strength, and web shooting abilities to turn it into an incredibly versatile attack. However, despite the drop kick being Spider-Man's favorite kick, it is far from the only kick he knows how to execute. As a matter of fact, in this game, Spider-Man is a verifiable kicking master, throwing everything from basic to extremely advanced techniques during combat. As we will soon see, plenty of these kicks fit perfectly in the martial art of Taekwondo. First up is the extremely powerful side kick, in which you tuck in your knee and extend your leg with as much force as possible. In Spider-Man's case, he first uses his webbing to not only disarm the much larger foe, but to also prop up the weapon right in front of him. Then Spidey tucks in his knee while executing a small horizontal hop to gain distance, something extremely common in Taekwondo, only to then extend his leg with an incredible amount of speed, thus kicking the weapon, which in turn collides with his enemy, sending them both reeling. Note too how a straight line is formed when he throws a kick in order to maximize his strength and the technique. He can also throw this very same technique during melee combat. You can more clearly see here how the small jump nets him more distance and power. In this spectacular finisher, he first executes a backflip kick, which more than anything is limited to demos in Taekwondo, and follows it up with a 540 spinning hook kick. In other words, he's executing a spinning hook kick, but it's after an additional spin, turning it into a stunning acrobatic display one of the more impressive kicks in Taekwondo. Both techniques flow into one another due to his spinning. Spinning is very important in Taekwondo, as it makes you both unpredictable and able to unleash several techniques one after the other. He also uses a variation of the spin hook kick with this boss, but modifies it by kicking much lower than usual. In this two-hit combo, Spider-Man uses his powers as well as his talent in martial arts. He flawlessly flips out of danger, more on that later, then webs his opponent, setting him up for a perfect spinning hook kick to the face. Afterwards, he jumps up and spins in the air. In Taekwondo, you can throw out a roundhouse kick at the end of such a spin, and it's known as a tornado kick. 
but in this case, he opts to go for the much more sensational, more amazing, more spectacular. <laughs> Yes, the push kick. As one can see, he modifies the technique by executing it right after a spin, turning this into a tornado push kick. In this particular combo string, Spider-Man first executes a hook kick, which as its name implies involves swinging your leg out in a hook-like motion, followed by a roundhouse kick. The roundhouse kick has plenty of variations. In this case, he is kicking through the target rather than at it, as note how he spins back into place when he finishes the technique. When Spider-Man slides under the enemy, he finishes the attack with two consecutive kicks. He first executes a jumping roundhouse kick. Normally you hit the target and that's the end of it, but in Spider-Man's case, he uses his mid-air momentum to spin into a hook kick, the very same technique we recently saw, but delivered for mid-air, turning it into a jump spin hook kick. And when you put both techniques together, it yields a cool looking combo, featuring two great techniques from Taekwondo. During mid-air combat, Spider-Man can also use the previously seen backflip kick and follow it up with a jump spin hook kick, seen here from a different angle. He can also throw a front kick followed by a jump spin hook kick. Spider-Man can also execute what is commonly known as a flying side kick in Taekwondo. All the principles from the side kick remain, you just add a big horizontal jump before you execute said technique to perform the flying part of the name. Besides Taekwondo, Spider-Man weaves in elements from other styles into his combat. First up is Muay Thai, also known as the Art of Eight Limbs. It's a style with an emphasis in striking techniques, and its most standout feature is how it incorporates elbows and knees into its arsenal. One of Muay Thai's signature moves is a flying knee, and Spider-Man often uses said technique as an excellent finishing move. Spider-Man begins by first webbing his opponent, and then executes a flying knee using the webbing to add momentum to the attack. Obviously there's no webbing involved in the original technique, but it certainly works for Spider-Man. Spider-Man also incorporates a backwards elbow in this instance. This technique is known as the cartwheel kick, and you frequently see it performed by the extremely talented Muay Thai champion, San Chai. Muay Thai also features a roundhouse kick, but a huge difference is the impact point. Whereas in Taekwondo, the impact point is usually the instep, as Spider-Man himself just showed moments ago, in Muay Thai, the impact point is usually the shin. Knowing that, take a look at this kick to see how Spider-Man combines his knowledge of Taekwondo with his knowledge of Muay Thai. Although at a quick glance, this looks like an extremely aerial 540 kick from Taekwondo, if you take a look at the impact point, note that it's Spider-Man's shin, very clearly showing his Muay Thai influence. A great technical detail to observe as well is to see how he juts his elbow out right before he starts spinning. In real life, this helps tremendously in being able to achieve the torque required for this move. However, watching Spider-Man fight, you can tell that there's a certain rhythm and style in the techniques, and that is from his talent in capoeira. Capoeira is a Brazilian martial art that actually has a background in dance, but it's deadly because it uses one's whole body as a pendulum. For example, where in Taekwondo you can lift your leg and snap it to deliver a roundhouse as you guys have seen before, in Capoeira you can swing your entire body to deliver the kick and help yourself out by using a hand to stabilize yourself. And it's called a Machtelo Genegachiva. Having seen that, look at how Spider-Man thrusts his whole body behind his kick and uses his hand to stabilize himself, a textbook use of the technique. This particular Spider-Man dodge very much resembles the Macaco Impe. Capoeira also shares a couple kicking techniques with Taekwondo, such as its hook kick being called a gancho, or the front kick being a benso. Furthermore, Spider-Man's tendency to be spinning in and out of different techniques definitely shows Capoeira's concept of constantly being in motion as well as its background in dance. For example, look how flawlessly he transitions from that hook kick to the roundhouse kick, or from the roundhouse kick to the martelo generativa. In this case, he goes from the roundhouse kick to a training technique in capoeira, where you shoot your legs out. Now that you've seen this capoeira influence, his tornado kick makes a lot more sense. On the technical taekwondo side, you've got the knee lifting to help you spin, then the roundhouse kick shooting out just like a traditional tornado kick. But on the capoeira side, you see that extra bit of dance infused into the technique, from the extra spin after the kick to his hand placement. And the technique wouldn't be complete without the Spider-Man touch of using his webbing and striking a pose after completing the kick. We briefly explored Spider-Man's penchant for using a pro wrestling inspired drop kick in combat, but in order to truly understand Spider-Man's acrobatic attacks, we need to turn to Lucha Libre. Lucha Libre is a term used in Mexico for professional wrestling, but it goes beyond just a name. Lucha Libre is characterized by colorful masks, 
fitting perfectly with Spider-Man's own colorful mask, and contains a huge emphasis on high-flying maneuvers, many of which have been adopted around the world. Probably the best place to start would be to introduce the Huracarrana, also known as a Hurricane Rana. There are several variations to this move, but they typically involve using your legs to secure your opponent and then spinning around in some fashion for a takedown. The name was derived from the ring name of the luchador who invented it, Huracan Ramirez. Here Spider-Man is executing a form of the Huracarrana. Instead of ending it with a throw, Spider-Man is in the air, so he ends it with a small kick towards the ground. This particular variation is also known as a tilt-a-whirl head scissors takedown. An excellent Spidey variation to this concept can be seen right here, where he first executes a small shoulder tackle or shoulder block as it's known in pro wrestling to launch his opponent in the air, and then executes a variation of a head scissors takedown with help from his webbing for extra impact. Probably the most seen move within Spider-Man's Lucha Libre arsenal is this one. It's known as a reverse huracarrana. In it, you sit on your opponent and then flip him over using your legs. However, Spider-Man makes it even more complex, since before he even does that, he executes a backflip to land on his opponent. Therefore, you could technically call it a moonsault reverse huracarrana. The moonsault is also moved with tons of variations, and typically involves backflipping from the top rope onto your opponent in some fashion. Spider-Man's punching style fits perfectly with his Lucha Libre background. Note how he doesn't really chamber the opposing hand when he punches, as you would see in Taekwondo, nor does he keep it by his face, as you see in boxing. Instead, it basically goes to wherever it needs to go to make it as theatrical as possible. Perhaps best exemplified with this awesome multi-punch takedown that culminates with the previously seen tornado kick. Note how at one point, his non-punching arm ends up in a nearly straight line with his punching arm, looking super cool, but not like a boxing or taekwondo punch at all. In Lucha Libre, it's all about selling the hit, and if that means you need an extra wind-up or anything else, you go for it. But besides the theatricality of Lucha Libre and the rhythm of capoeira running through all of Spider-Man's combat, there's something else that acts as a connective tissue in Spider-Man's acrobatic fighting style. Spider-Man is incredibly flexible and fast and can contort his body to nimbly avoid projectiles and constantly dodge any and all incoming threats due to his spider sense. The closest thing to this kind of movement in real life would be gymnastics. He's performing the same kind of air-defying moves Olympic athletes do, just to a super heroic degree. Note how on this backflip kick, he literally uses the man as a vault table, as it was established with Captain America and his discus throw. If there's anyone that can turn gymnastics into a fighting style, it's Spider-Man. Take a look at this excellent throw by Spider-Man. It's a shoulder throw known as an Ippon Seonage in Judo. In this technique, you trap your opponent's bicep in between the elbow, forearm, and shoulder then throw him over you. Now that you've seen several of Spider-Man's fighting styles, you can tell what's going on when he's stringing together impressive looking combos, constantly switching in and out of different styles depending on the situation around him. It's truly a sight to behold, and one of the coolest aspects of the game is just how much variety there is in the combat. But sometimes, Spider-Man can't readily fight in the open, and needs to rely on stealth tactics. This opens up a couple of styles that can be attributed to Spider-Man, which are under ninjutsu. At its core, ninjutsu is an umbrella-style martial art comprised of 18 disciplines with an emphasis on stealth tactics. So which disciplines does Spider-Man demonstrate? Within ninjutsu, shinobi iri means the art of stealth and infiltration, and Spider-Man is no stranger to this concept, oftentimes having to remain hidden and completely undetected until the best moment when he can strike. During many of his stealth takedowns, he uses his webbing to completely engulf his enemy in a spectacular fashion. There are a couple of different variations to this technique as well. He can also use nothing but his webbing to successfully spin, slam, and subdue his enemy on the floor. Or he can use his webbing after a physical attack, such as a jump spin hook kick, or in this case, a nurakarana. As you can imagine, there's no such thing as web fighting in martial arts, but we can attribute this to his skills in Boryaku. Boryaku is a use of unorthodox strategies and tactics, and using synthetic webbing certainly falls into that category. Even using mechanical appendages fits nicely as well. Further evidence of Boryaku is seen when he creatively uses his environment to aid him in combat. Spider-Man takes this to the next level, however, and slides into Chimon territory, which means using geography to your advantage. Spider-Man always takes full advantage of where he's fighting in. For example, he can hop off a nearby wall to deliver an attack, or he can use the environment to survey the area before he web zips himself into the battlefield with a devastating quick attack. He can also use anything around him to swing directly at his opponent, whether that's a junction box or a cinder block, virtually anything that he can easily web to and swing works perfectly. An awesome stealth takedown can be seen right here. Spider-Man first executes a low sidekick right behind the knee, causing his enemy to buckle down. He then clocks his enemy with a strong right hook. 
Once he's on the floor, Spidey webs him up as well. In this instance, Spider-Man webs his enemy from afar and comes flying in with a devastating spinning sidekick. While in stealth or in direct combat, Spider-Man also has a huge arsenal of unique and cool web gadgets that he can use to aid himself in battle, from something as simple as a trip mine to something as complex as a suspension matrix. Therefore, besides his standard webbing attacks, Spider-Man uses a variety of gadgets to great effect in stealth as well as combat situations. Furthermore, he can use his webbing to disarm his enemies. A great majority of these tools and web abilities require pinpoint accuracy from Spider-Man, as if he doesn't aim correctly, everything that follows simply won't work. Spider-Man is thus an incredibly skilled marksman, and the closest thing we can come to that is action shooting, a category within sports shooting which places great emphasis on movement and speed as well as precision. In conclusion, how many fighting styles does Spider-Man know in Marvel's Spider-Man? They are Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Capoeira, Lucha Libre, Judo, Gymnastics, Shinobi Iri, Moriaku, Chimon, and Action Shooting. For a grand total of 10 fighting styles, I'd like to thank each one of my Patreon members as their contribution helped in the making of this video. If you'd like to contribute and appear in the credits in the future, my Patreon page is Godzilla Rex and it's in the description below. This video is dedicated to my brother, Arturo, who is not only the biggest and most multi-talented Spider-Man fan I know, he also captured the majority of Spider-Man's amazing combat and web-swinging gameplay in this video. So big special thanks goes to him. Make sure to check out his channel Spidey406 for awesome Spider-Man content. What did you think of the game? What other characters should I analyze next? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe for more awesome videos, and see you next time.